it is time for the edit. I'm Amy Irons, back with the best. Who? Who's that? The crew. Oh, all right, and I'm just David Farrell. Yes, this is the edit. Let's see what's making the cut this week. We're drilling into Martin Compton's new North Sea thriller, The Rig. We'll look ahead to some of the biggest TV and movie releases of 2023. And what's this I spy with my pale blue eye? It's Christian Bale and Gillian Anderson's new murder mystery. Do you have blue eyes? I've got a very pale blue uh, set I've of never, blue I've eyes. I've actually never noticed that before. Happy New Year, my TV partner. Oh. And I know despite your New Year's resolution, you are actually still stuck here with moi. What a way to start 2023, eh? Listen, nobody really wants change anyway. I think we just kid ourselves on. Oh, we, we just want a bit the same, really. You know what they say, Amy, old dog, new tricks. <laughs> oh, don't put yourself down like that. Anyway, one thing I know for sure is I want as much Martin Compton on my TV screen this year as we had last year. Well, I think you're in luck, Amy, because that is a given for this year. The Greenock Lad is back with the new Amazon Prime drama, uh, The Rig. Now, this is the first Amazon drama to be filmed entirely in Scotland. Good fact. And uh, here's another fact for you, Amy. <laughs> the name suggests. What? It's set on an oil rig. Uh -huh. Never. Yeah. Would never yep. have guessed. Breaking news on an oil rig off the coast of Aberdeen. Now the crew of the rig are stranded when a mysterious fog descends, takes hold and things start to go wrong. That's a mysterious fog. That's like when you descend on this set. What Weird that? and I mean some people would say wonderful. <laughs> uh, things do start to happen Mr Farrell. Well, Quite the cast. Kind of a compliment. Quite the cast alongside Martin Compton. Yeah, so alongside Martin, we've got Game of Thrones star Ian Glenn, Schitt's Creek actor Emily Hampshire, Mark Bonner in there as well. And, you know, I can't really think what tempted Martin to join this stellar cast no. on a, uh, you know, on a show that's going no. out to 230-odd countries. Millions. Yeah, and, and no, I've got no idea why I was so interested. I nearly just said money there. joking. <laughs> 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 uh, no, um... Power outage across the accommodation block. Could it have been seismic? John Strickland has been a brilliant collaborator for me throughout my career. I, I worked with him on Line of Duty and in Plain Sight. He's one of the directors who, who's got the best out of me. And he'd met my dad before and my dad worked on the oil rigs and he says that there's a character I think would be great and you've got a personal connection. We're taking a sample of the ash. Well, tell us what's causing all this. I mean, maybe not all, but I can do a geological analysis and find out what it is and where it came from. I play Rose Mason, who is the oil company rep. Uh, so she is not the most popular on, on the rig um, with the crew because of her corporate kind of position. Um, and she does have a... Um, you called it a frisson. A frisson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a little thing going on between my character and Bulmer. We're all finished. Wake up! He's got to be dealt with! I play Fulmer, the communications officer. He's, uh, I think, kind of the nice guy on the rig. And he just tries to keep his head down, going with his job, and then but as hopefully people find out the show just goes absolutely mental and you just see different sides of all these characters and they could put on these incredibly tough circumstances, but it was a lot of fun. Before we get to today's work plan, I know some of you have been waiting for your ride home, but you're going to have to wait a while longer. How long, Magnus? Until there's a ride available, we all have work to do. It's hard to explain. It's a supernatural, which is naturally <laughs> super. Um, but it's just, it's, I, in the best possible way, I don't think you can quite define it. I don't think it kind of belongs to one particular genre. You know, there's, a, there's so much going on with it. Oh, my God. What I do love about this show is that it is a supernatural show, but there, the, the science of it is real, and so it's, like, this close to being true. Kinlock Bravo to Coast Guard. I repeat, Kinlock Bravo to Coast Guard. Uh, I am now, I'm now basically Scottish. I've yeah. got an iron brew, I've got a kilt. Um, Did you know about the decommissioning? I knew it was being discussed. We were in the height of COVID, so everyone was wearing masks. Um, couldn't understand anyone. Some of my best work in the show yes, is when it, was, it looks like I'm thinking. 
but no one I just can't understand what anybody's <laughs> saying. Um, but I, what I did love about it is that I felt like with the Scottish and UK actors, there's a similar sensibility that Canadian actors have, which is this blue collar job. Like we're workers, we're not, nobody's like, there were no egos, no bigger star. And also you guys can make fun of yourselves in the way that we can make fun of ourselves. Uh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> which is a very specific cultural thing that's not, I don't find in America as much. Um, so I feel at home here and I would like to move here. Right, Davy Boy, it's cold, it's miserable outside, we're all skin after Christmas, so please bring us some good news and tell us there's at least some decent film and TV to look I forward know. to this year. Amy, New Year, same old as we say, same but thankfully us. there's some big new releases that we can look ahead to. Everything I try to do, people turn against me. Let's start with our favourite dysfunctional family, of that course. There is absolutely no way to talk about our edit team, David Farrell. How dare you? I'm talking about the Roy dynasty. I think I'd quite like to be in the Roy family, to be honest. I'd like their money. <laughs> yes. We're talking about succession. It's back on our screens spring of this year. Around right about March time, we expect season four to drop. Brian Cox back as Logan Roy, the head of the family media company Waystar Roy Co. And he's essentially cut his kids out of any decision making on what role they'll have in the business going forward. And we'll find out soon. Now to one of my most anticipated movie releases of the year, David, and it is the live action remake of The Little Mermaid. Oh, you have a Gosh, this takes me back to my youth. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one, to be honest. And we've seen so many classic Disney movies uh, go from cartoon to live action. Alice in Wonderland, Cruella, Pinocchio, May this year for this one, Little Mermaid. Uh, and we're going, we're going to see singer uh, Halle Bailey star as Ariel. What a voice. Another movie that there's been a buzz around, I'd say for months now since we first saw those leaked photos from the set, is Barbie. That's what I think I look like when I go on holiday. Out, come out the pool. Out the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you That's thought, me. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> I know you thought that we were going to get the roles of Barbie and Ken, Amy, but bad news. Listen, there's still hope. <laughs> no, there's no hope. <laughs> Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are going to play uh, Barbie and Ken in the movie, set to be released uh, in the summer. So they're obviously two huge names, but there is some Scottish representation in there as well. Yep, our pal Sharon Rooney, Shruti Gatwa in this as well, and alongside other big names, including Will Ferrell and America Ferreira. From Barbie, a film with Scottish talent, to another big blockbuster, this time filmed here. Yeah, Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny, fifth instalment in the long-running series. This one, uh, we're expecting summertime as well. It was filmed in Glasgow in the summer of 2021. They, they turned part of Glasgow city centre into 1960s New York. Uh, Harrison Ford returns. A lot of de-aging technology used in this because it starts at an earlier point. They at use least. that in this show as well. <laughs> yes, they borrowed it from us. We let them have it for a couple of weeks. Um, we can expect to see this one in cinemas at the end of June. One thing that we do know for sure is we have a new doctor this year, but we do have quite the wait before we actually see Shuti Gatwa take the keys to the TARDIS. He's a busy boy this year, isn't he, Shuti? Um, yeah, it was announced last year that he's going to be the 15th doctor uh, be towards the end of this year before we see him take over from Jodie Whittaker. But we are expecting to see him star alongside another Scottish doctor in the 60th anniversary specials, which guess what they're due to be released later this oh, year. Oh, quite the way. Yeah, David Tennant, a lot of this excitement around the fact that he'll be returning as the 14th Doctor as part of three special episodes to celebrate the success of the show. Now, we're going to stick with the theme of new releases, David, because... Is that because it's a new year? New Year, I, I just, I like to be organised, have a, a theme, something, some consistency running through this show, which we don't normally have. It's very have. well organised, this programme. And it is the fact that we have Christian Bale turning detectives for a big Netflix release, and it's The Pale Blue Eye, which has just landed. Yep, now, you might have watched Glass Onion over Christmas. I've not yet. Oh, right, oh, there's one no for you. There's no another spoilers. murder mystery, so straight off the back of that one, Netflix are giving us this, The Pale Blue Eye. A little bit different feel in this one, though. We go back to the 18th 30s in this, uh, Christian Bale is tasked with uh, getting to the bottom of a grisly murder. Oh, say, say that again. Murder, there's been grisly a murder. murder. He does indeed. And he enlists the help of a young cadet named Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar. Played by Harry Melly, who's getting rave reviews for his performance. Poe, of course, the famous American poet and author. My question was, is this then, is it a true story or is it just inspired by his work? Well, I, I think it was cold, that's what I know. There's a fact, we at least know it's Not cold. Jodie McCallum spoke to the cast. <laughs> 
Is it true? You once solicited a confession with nothing more than a piercing look. With enough patience, a suspect will often interrogate himself. Congratulations on this. First of all, Thank I want you. to start off with a very important question. <laughs> How cold was it <laughs> filming this movie? <laughs> It was bloody cold. It was cold. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Very cold. Very cold. <laughs> yeah. Very cold. Yeah, but we had a bit more protection than the, than yeah. the guys did because we had uh, yes. layers and layers of, of, uh, of dresses and coats and bonnets yeah. and all that. Was there lots of thermals under there as well then? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. What happens in this story then? Okay. Where are we? Set the okay. scene. So, 1830s, mm -hmm. West Point. Mm -hmm. Um, lots of cadets in blue. Mm -hmm. A murder has taken place, mm -hmm. and uh, Landor Cue the has been of yes. Bale. Bale comes in as Landor. He's uh, a retired detective, and he's been asked to come in and uh, investigate. Who type of fella could do this? And obviously, Christian is an absolute film legend. I think you're one of the best actors of oh, our generation. So I'm not much. just saying that because I don't like you people. I would just tell you if I thought you were terrible. I think you're absolutely <laughs> amazing. So what was it like going up against him? Because honestly, the chemistry between you two is so good. Oh, thank you. Well, it's weird. Like going up against someone seems like such a sort of I yeah. know, <laughs> competition in a way, but it, it, it never feels like that. You know, when when you're making hopefully good work, it's always a collaboration. It's always a negotiation you're always listening to each other you're always sort of trying to be as present as possible for the other person you know I mean people say I'll oh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe and all that but you know it's <laughs> you know, that's a fun way of putting it but in truth uh, yeah you're both looking at the same you know target you're both going for the same thing so it really is about helping each other as much as you can where are the facts where are the simple facts I did say this to, to Christian and Harry. I started by saying I'm slightly obsessed with you, but then I just admitted to it. I'm totally obsessed with Gillian yeah. Anderson, like the rest of the Funny. world. So what was it like getting to work with Gillian? <laughs> what was it like? Imagine working with like me. Terrible. Yes. <laughs> um, it was great, especially, especially with this character. Yeah. I mean, getting to see the extremes that this character goes to, and yeah, it was, it was, I mean, she's sitting right here, so. <laughs> you don't want to gush too much. Exactly, it's uncomfortable, but it was, it was just, <laughs> yeah, it was a privilege. Oh, and I love the moments between you and Christian's character. There's not many moments where mm. you're alone, but when you are, you really remember them. The chemistry's like off the wall. What was it like working with him? Because he's just, he's a masterclass in acting, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. There, there, there was a scene which I, I happily tell you was was uh, cut out where I jump him. <laughs> I do. Oh, God, oh they shouldn't yeah. have cut that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not there anymore. I, I literally make a go for <laughs> Christian Bale. Uh, but um, no, that's no no, no more. Oh. Yeah. In, it's just too much, the, maybe too yeah, realistic. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> too dangerous just for audiences. Too People would leave, they'd be fainting. And <laughs> <laughs> too much. Yeah. It's only a matter of time. Oh, there's another one to get right in about. Oh, we'll be binging all month long, won't we? We certainly mm. will. So much to say and do, though. So little time that has been the edit for yet another week. Mm. First one of 2023. David yeah. and I will be back next time.